Stefan from Hardlight, what on earth have you just showed us? What is that? Yeah, this is kind of a Frankencam for the new age. A I mean, Frankencam, I <laughs> like it. Franken -cam. It's good. Uh, what we have done here is uh, a hybrid between 35mm lancers. Okay, so, so this here on the front is a Canon. Shift and tilt, tilt lens, 24mm. 24 24mm. 24 right. Yes. And you can also use the 17mm, of course, but this one is really the workhorse for this camera. camera. Uh, then you have in the middle, this is something like a medium format camera without a mirror. Right, and this it's is having, hard there. This is the hard by cam, actually, that's called. Right. And it has a shutter from the Mamiya AFD, so it's got a 1 4,000th of a second and up to 30 seconds of exposure time and B, of course. And then it's got a moving slider that you can move motorized. And what I can also use here is uh, a remote shutter release. Oh, this, is, this is in your hand. Yeah. This? So we use uh, standard parts from the 35 millimeter accessory part that you can get anywhere on eBay or at your photo dealer. Yeah. And then you can use this to get pictures up to 180 megabytes in 8 bit. Right. So we've got on the back here we've got we got a leaf back. This is a leaf back going through a hard black camera with a Canon lens. Canon lens. And, and this covers the whole the whole big picture of this big so it's so it's essentially a medium format camera. Yes it is. But it's using 35 millimeter lenses but of course with adapters you can use all kind of other lenses like medium format, Hasselblad, Bronica, Pentax 6x7, whatever. Right, so we can have any lens we like on the front. Can we have any back on the back? Yes, you can have Leaf, Phase 1, Hasselblad, Signer. We have we have our microcomputer com controlling right. all of the backs with the same so time. You yes. So you, you just set here time. You set here the aperture, the aperture displays up here, uh -huh. and then you have B, of course, and then you have the possibility to synchronize for the first or for the second shutter. Right, yep. Yeah. Uh, then you have the here flash controls in there. on off. This is the, for the slider. This is the lamp on off to spare some oh, see, energy. Yeah, yeah. And then you can open and close the shutter manually. So all the functionality is on the first level of. Right, it's very, it's very, very simple actually. It's very simple because when it's hard working, you cannot think about the gear. No, no, that's you right. You need to, you need to use it blindly. Yeah, you need so to know exactly how to use it, just like that. It has to do what you want, not what do what the camera wants. Right. And this is a tool for people who have and to so work. What, what, what this sliding across thing? What, what is, what is that for? That's to move. The this is, this is for the, for the, for the slider to be positioned precisely. Oh, so, there, so, so now we're looking, we've got a viewfinder looking through the lens. Yeah, because the point is when you do this by hand, you will wear out this very fast. <laughs> yeah, and, and, then it won't, yeah. Won't and so we have the precision that we will use to have this micron fine pixels yeah. uh, exposed correctly. Right, right. And so this, this whole thing here is very, very easily to operate. It's very compact. Uh -huh. It's giving you the functionality of electronic shutter and accessories and every kind of long time, short time exposure, one yeah. four thousandth of a second is probably a world record for this kind of camera because we have the syncs here electronically programmed mm -hmm. into the com microcomputer and this is a first on this kind of camera. It's the first I've ever seen like this, yeah. yeah because the Rolleye or Schneider shutters, they can't do this. Right. They have longer, only only longer uh, exposure times. Right. So essentially, what we're, just to boil it down, yeah. this gives us access to the lenses we want, Yes. The backs we want. Yes. The viewfinders we want. It's like a want. Lego system. It's like a Lego system. Yeah, That's right. Build, build your you, own Franken. So Harbly don't make make Franken cams. They make glue. Yeah. That's, That's, for, sure. That's for sure. It's 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 something for the people who already have some kind of equipment. Or yeah. All kind of backs, lenses, and even viewfinders from your old Hasselblad. Yeah. And I know a lot of people will love it to use their old Hasselblad lenses on new backs. Yeah. Because this ice glass is just gorgeous. Oh yeah. And everybody can take what he has and what he future buys on a flea market or from a colleague or has in his cupboard and wants to use anyway. So this is something that really brings back fun and openness to a system. It does. I mean, that's, that's massive fun. I, I'm delighted that you've brought that along and, had, and, and give me the chance to see it. Thank yeah. you very, very Thank much you. for showing Thank you. Thank you for your interest. Bye-bye. Very, You're very welcome. interesting. Thank My you. My pleasure.
This video is an extract from an episode of Photo Walkthrough, an online TV show all about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. If you'd like to see more, head on over to photowalkthrough.com where you can find all the old shows and subscribe to the new ones for free. Music